We've taken um, uh, oxycodone and also diphenhydramine. Uh, he's our cultural thing is he's our, our peer, so um, that's sort of how we'll go with this. So we'll start out with a, with a phone call. Hmm. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey, dude. <laughs> you know, I, I was at the dentist the other day. I told you about my uh, my tooth being pulled, right? Yeah, um, yeah. <clears throat> so the the dentist he gave me some oxycodone, but my uh, my allergies have also been killing me. Up. I'm taking a uh, Benadryl too. I picked up at the store. Is there anything I should be worried about? Uh, yeah. Okay. So like, I got 15 minutes, and then I gotta go study for my <laughs> test. I know. I just took that farm test, but I really screwed it. So I gotta go study for my test. Next one. So I have 15 minutes. That's it. But um. So well, the thing you need to know about oxycodone is it's you know a pain reliever, and you know it binds to the opiate receptors in your brain, and it, it's it's gonna you know cause you some pain, but also that thing in your brain that's gonna make you sort of depressing your CNS uh, system, which is your breathing, your dizziness, short of breath, stuff like that. So you need to be careful about that. So the other thing that um, we need to look at when we're looking at you know the the uh, oxycodone is that. It's um, it's you know kind of for the pain, but you need to watch out for kind of any confusion, sedation, uh, nausea, vomiting, appetite, uh, like I said, dry mouth, sweaty, itchy sort of stuff. So kind of look out for some of those things. And uh, we also need to make sure the side effects. You know, like you might you know feel like really happy, but you also might start to feel sad, like kind of messing with it a little bit. So if you start to get a headache. Itchy skin, um, you start losing some strength, nausea, vomiting, kind of some, you know, you'll get some constipation, that's pretty normal, but if you got, like, you haven't gone in three or four days, um, that's something you should be concerned about. So, also, if you're really sleepy or drowsy, um, sometimes also it'll keep you up. Sometimes it has an off, you know, kind of an opposite effect. So, these are some concerns that you need to make, you know, concerned about. You should call your doctor, okay? So that's something you need to really, you know, worry about. But the worst thing is that you'll stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm pretty sure that you know you have to really take a lot of it. But your heart, if you feel that you you're getting sleepy and you start, you know, heartbeat starts going really slow, uh, any sort of seizure activity, of course. Uh, if you're, you know, start getting cold or just really confused, uh, if you feel like you're going to pass out, you really need to be worried. Of course, don't drive, right? You know, right? Don't drive. So, no driving. No driving. So, the thing about this is the, you know, dizziness and also can affect um, your orthostatic, we call it orthostatic hypertension. I know these big words, I'm in, I'm in nursing school, I can use them. But what that means is, so when you sit up, when you want to stand up, don't just stand up. Sit up, let your body kind of adjust, and then stand up. And what it is, is if you think about your blood in, in, in the veins, your, your vein is growing to a bigger size. The same volume of, of blood is in there. So you can kind of, you're still getting, you know, perfused, you're still able to stay with it. But if you stand up, that blood pressure will drop, and, well, you could drop too to the floor. So just... Move slow. Um, the other thing is constipation. Uh, you might want to take a laxative with this or something, or something just kind of, you know, um, over the counter, kind of keep that loosen it up. Yep, fiber. We like fiber. So, uh, and again, no driving. So make sure you understand that. But, uh, so yeah, so those are the big things. Like I said, if you need to call your doctor if you get any itchy hives, if you're feeling that you're. Um, Starting to really slow down with your respirations. Uh, if you don't pee for a while, that's also something that you need to worry about. So make sure you're, you know, hit the bathroom. If you're not feeling like you have to, um, your body's kind of distended, you feel kind of bloated, uh, that's something you need to worry about. Uh, the breathing thing is the biggest thing you really need to kind of to look at. So yeah, so those are the big things. Make sure you, you know, like I said, call your call your doctor. Feel that stuff kind of going on, but uh, you know, as we kind of said, you know, make sure you take uh, uh, take the medicine if you're told to. Don't overdose it. Don't double up on it. Um, kind of.
kind of do some things to take it with some food, a little bit of milk or something like that, to kind of help out with that GI problem with uh, making you feel like vomiting or nausea or anything like that. Uh, and as you know, this is a opiate. It's a uh, pretty much like heroin, so you can get addicted to it. So just just don't uh, don't overdo it. I know that your family is not. You don't have come from any addiction within your family, right? You don't have any problem. Okay, good. So there's, you know, I'm sure the doctor, um, you know, has a little short regimen for it, but it's um, it can be addicting, you know, and something that you should be concerned about. So the other thing, so um, you said that you're going to take the Benadryl with that. Did, did you call your doctor and tell him that? Did you tell him? Uh, I didn't mention it to him. Okay. I got it after my appointment. So. Okay. So as you know, I'm two months or two quarters into my uh, nursing school, and I'm not an expert. But you should tell your doctor, find out about those kind of interactions. Both of those things can, uh, both of those things can uh, cause you to feel drowsy, and it's going to potentially, it's going to double that effect. So you need to make sure that you're not, you know, going into extra sleepy mode by combining those two drugs. Uh, also, any alcohol will potentiate that. So that doubling factor is something that you need to talk to your doctor about. The other thing you should uh, think about is, I know you said you got that teeth pulled. There's one drug, there's a, well, they're macrolides. They're called macrolides, I know these big words. It's an antibiotic. And it it's, can be also a potentiated factor. And maybe your dentist gave that for when you pulled the tooth, and you might not even, you know, maybe you heard it, he didn't tell you or something like that, and should have told you, but just check, because that's another thing that can potentiate this effect. So, uh, so those are some of the things you kind of need to be concerned about. But, yeah, the toxicodone. All right, I'm, I'm going to talk to you on speakerphone, all right? <laughs> well, yeah. So I know, sorry. So I know that uh, you know Randall. Randall got a better grade on the um, last part of the test, so oh, he might talk more than me. I'll put him on speaker. So, so I hear you're taking Benadryl, man. If there's one thing I love to talk about, it's diphenhydramine. <laughs> that is, it's just awesome stuff. Now, normally people take it for cold, allergies. It's a, kind of an antihistamine. Uh, Benadryl is what you said you were looking at at Fred Meyer. Is that right? I, it, it does a good job. Uh, it, it can help. Um, the way it works is it uh, antagonizes. I mean, it irritates. It, uh, it works on the uh, histamine receptors in your system. So uh, it, it can lead to a little bit of what we were talking about earlier, uh, central nervous system depression. That's like alertness, things we were mentioning earlier. Common side effects are drowsiness, anorexia, sometimes it suppresses the appetite, and uh, dry mouth. Some of the adverse effects, you know, we already mentioned drowsiness, uh, blurred vision, tinnitus, uh, hypotension. Um, dry mouth seems to be a really common one in all the literature. Uh, photosensitivity and a chest type. See, if, uh, if you notice any of these less serious side effects, you might want to talk to your doctor. They're not really urgent, but you know, keep, keep them in mind. That would be like clumsiness, constipation, dry nose, mouth, throat, uh, nervousness or excitability, upset stomach, or a thick mucus in your, in your uh, nose or throat. Now, if you see any of these symptoms, you're going to want to call your doctor immediately. These things he needs to be informed of right away. And that would be an allergic reaction. As with any drug, if you have an allergic reaction, make sure you talk to a provider. It could be itching, eyes swelling of your face, tingling in the mouth, throat, chest tightness, trouble breathing, uh, hallucinations. Uh, yeah, uh, not the good kind. Not the good kind. This is not like that fish concert you were telling us about. Um, <laughs> don't worry about lightheadedness or fainting. Talk to your doctor about that or pain when urinating. Um, the two big side effects that most common that we talked about were the dizziness and drowsiness. You, know, you want to avoid driving or operating any heavy industrial machinery. Um, you know, they, they interfere with your alertness and it causes dry mouth. So chew some gum, good oral hygiene we should help you out with that. But you know, notify your health professional if it stays bad for two weeks. Um, like uh, Brendan was saying earlier, make sure your doctor is aware of all the medications that you're taking. Um, there is an increased risk for that CNS depression. That's what you're saying. You may stop breathing um, you know, if, if you're taking it with other drugs. Um, let's see. Uh, and be careful with certain uh, uh, supplements like uh, kava and chamomile. But the big thing is uh, whenever you combine the two drugs. Guys.
guys can stand that a little bit? Brandon now, get that? Yeah, it's making sense. So, so whenever you have the oxycodone, whenever you have the diphenhydramine, one makes you sleepy, the other makes you sleepy. But whenever you take them together, it makes you super drowsy and super sleepy. It amplifies it. <coughs> so again, make sure you don't drive or operate any heavy machinery when you're taking the two. And make sure you let your physician know that you're now taking diphenhydramine <coughs> along with the prescribed oxycodone. If you have any of the above side effects, contact your doctor. So, one of the things they teach us in nursing school, when we talk to a patient, we need to have them understand that. I know I give you a lot of information here, so, but what sort of things do you need to worry about when you're taking that oxycodone? What are some things, the, the common side effects that you have? Uh, well, with oxycodone, um, I'd be worried about uh, confusion more than my normal level of confusion. Right. Uh, any type of sedation. sedation. That's right. That's right. Take some fiber. Take some fiber with it. That's exactly right. All right. What were two of the common side effects when you're taking diphenhydramine, the vinegar? Uh, that one, uh, Benadryl, I've always experienced this when I'm taking it in the past with a dry mouth, horrible dry mouth, and then uh, drowsiness as well. Oh, that's a dumb. Also, one of the side effects of oxycodone. I wonder if that guy that was on the TV, the Republican, that had to drink the water, maybe he was on diphenhydramine. So, um, what are at least two actions that you can take uh, if you have side effects uh, from these and taking them together? Um, well, going from uh, sitting, standing, it's a really easy. Is it that um, orthostatic hypertension? Hey, hey, nice. I'm teaching you things. Good job. <laughs> Sweet, we gotta go to our other meeting because it's uh, we've got one minute.